Hey guys, in today's tutorial we will create together this cool Instagram carousel template you see right here in Affinity Designer. And to start we need a new document, we're using command and N. Um, for Windows PCs it's control and N to create a new document and we're using 1080 pixels on 1350 pixels and clicking create ad board. That's the portray um, format of Instagram which I think is um, most suitable for um, carousel posts because it takes a lot of the screen and therefore gives you more attention um, on the feed. So we're clicking on create. Also make sure to go color and transparent background and click on create and we have our clean document with our ad boards. Our ad boards are um, simply um, that we can have more, multiple documents like multiple pages in one document as you see right here one two and three. And we're starting by giving it a little background rectangle just um, selecting and um, adjusting to this artboard. In the top make sure to activate snapping and we're naming this artboard 1 to start with. And of course this is just one example to inspire you or um, to give you some um, ideas on how to start and how to create a carousel. You can use any font you want, any color you want, any photos you want and you can um, don't need to uh, use the same um, um, effects I'm using, you don't need to use the same um, yeah, um, places I'm using for pictures and text. That's all up to you. That's just one example. And we're using the picture I've already used right here. I'm copying this one. And um, you can, for example, use Affinity Photo to cut off the background of an image. You can also use Freeware and other tools like Canva and so on to um, remove the background from an image. So you have it um, with transparent background I, I like I have right here. For example, I'm using Command and Set to go back. And for the background, I like to make it fit the image. So um, we are using this um, um, little um, color taker right here. We click, uh, we click and hold and go to the image and choose a color we think is suitable. And I think we are going with something dark like this, clicking right here and having it here. And first of all, we are also duplicating this artboard with Command C and Command V. For Windows, all commands are the same. Simply use Control instead of Command. And we're holding down Shift and the right arrow key um, three times to the right to have it 30 pixel away. Now we can move this underneath, can name this with two, and we can um, make this open, remove this background, and duplicate this one. Duplicate, Command C, Command V. Also move this again, this whole artboard to the side so we can move one of them in right here. And now we can move this artboard to the right again with shift and three, error, um, three times the arrow key. And what this makes, this gives the effect while swiping inside of Instagram that you have one image because in Instagram there isn't this um, border I made for um, editing. You have the one picture and by swiping to the right, because that's why it's called carousel post, you have the next picture exactly um, 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 making this picture to one. And now we are changing the color again because I want some darker blue like this one and we are going with this one. Like I said, it's always up to you which colors, which pictures to uh, to use. That's just one possibility to do it. And now we need the graphic text tool and here selecting and clicking right here and we um, write for example Instagram enter carousel enter template. And we're selecting, making the, um, the font color white with swatches right. And for the font type, I'm using Troid and making it bigger. You could also make the, uh, this text in one. So we could 
use it as here but we also can use a little trick so as if we have it in one part um, the problem is that we can now uh, can't now uh, make effects like this one that one type of the font is above the picture one underneath under the hair and one above again which is uh, re looking really cool i think personally and to do this we can go to the little arrows right here or you maybe already see it on your screen right here and click convert to curves and now um, ungroup with command shift and g and now group again using this tool right here selecting instagram and command g to group carousel to command g to group and template to, and command g to group you could also use um, three different um, text um, text um, um, tools right here so clicking three times to write three times this is also possible and now we're looking that we have it exactly at the left side and going down with shift and down 50 pixel and again with this one and again 50 pixel and now we can move them together in the middle of the post and again 30 pixel from the left side maybe making it a little bit bigger and holding down shift so we don't use our um, our um, coordinates x and y proportions and what we now can do we can move this one underneath the picture and keep those both uh, those two those both above again check it's in the middle perfect and we could now also make it a little bit softer with the background by um, selecting all of them holding down command and giving opacity for example 95 percent as you can see um, we have the colors underneath shining through a little bit the more we give opacity the more they shine through for example 90 percent 90 percent it would be like this 80 like this we are going with 95 right here so as that it's just softly the colors underneath and maybe also making them a little bit smaller again so we can read this l a little bit see it and go to the right that's how it should be and now also a good thing with carapel posts in instagram is to use um to use your logo or your um, ad uh, account um, so nobody can just copy them or it's harder to copy them and you can be found and followed by um, the people watching so i've made um, used my logo right here i will copy and paste right here to this artboard and i've set the opacity to 80 percent for this one um, zooming in and making this also 30 pixels to the right and 30 to the top by holding down shift and using the arrow keys and giving it 80 percent opacity what we can now do with the text again is to make it even pop more click on quick fx and give it um outer shadow of black 50 50 and then i'm um, i like to use 30 pixels and angle 315 and again also with the other text parts so 50 50 30 and right here 50 50 30 and we have this soft shadow as you can see right here which makes the font a little bit pop out of the background out of the image and now a good way to, for carousel posts is also to use um, uh, uh, um, a number of your uh, current um, page so um, you swipe through and see number one number two number three um, that's a common usage in instagram carousel so i'm using the text right here again and putting a one inside zooming in and making a little bit bigger so we can see it selecting and for this one i'm gonna go with Mozart and black and make it a little bit smaller again and selecting moving to the top and down three pixels uh, 30 pixels and to the left 30 pixels and go to layers again and give opacity 90 percent or 80 as the logo so it's um fits exactly and then maybe we can make it a little bit bigger and then again 30 pixels down and 30 to the left <clears throat> and also an important part when creating your own template is to use this rectangle and holding down shift so you have a perfect square and then giving opacity for example 50% and moving this to the middle of your 
artboard because that's exactly what will be shown on your profile page so you want some important text and um, graphics and so on be visible on your profile so if people click on it they only um, after clicking they only will see this whole portrait or in their feed or um, when browsing instagram but on your profile they will only see this um, this square so make sure that everything important and what should be visible um, to um, um, your followers is inside this square so visible through your profile page it's only important for the first page because only the first page is shown on your instagram profile the other ones will only be shown if you're with if someone clicks on the side and swipes to the right so we can let this rectangle this square right here and we can make this um, make this smaller by clicking on this little um, arrow right here and now with our next side where you can simply copy the, um, the number copy command c and paste command v and now make a two of course and again use 30 pixels down but we have to make sure it fits 30 pixels somehow i don't want to fit exactly 30 pixels down and 30 to the left and also to copy the logo and paste the logo inside here command c command v and we can now also copy the text from the left side so we copy all of the free text um texts or we need to use new text of course because in this case we already made it to curve so we're clicking on this one clicking t or clicking right here for our text tool again and now we can write anything we want in the next post i've written right here for your next posts so to fit for your next next and posts and make it treat again and use this um, tool right here select this one and the bottom one and now move to the top and move down so we want to have it the same size now and now we can use it again to make it to convert it to curves ungroup and then group again and group again and group again we can also use our normal cursor so we don't have this confusing um, notes right there now we will move it to the right select the top um, the top text again and 50 pixels down and again right here and 50 pixels down and now again select them go to quick fx outer shadow 50 50 30 and again 15 and now we can group them together and again make them fit this this size right here as we want it like this again to the right side and 30 pixels in that it's now um, fitting and we could now if the hair are above our text we could move the uh, move them the text underneath which is already which which the text is already underneath or we could move it above so we have it above the hair but in this picture we only have a little of a little hair so this is not really important here so we can leave it down and of course choose opacity 95 percent again and then use your next rectangle you can use up to nine or ten um, pages i think in instagram so you have a lot of space so we can copy our next artboard and paste again move to the right and also 30 pixels again and now move down rename so we have our um so we now know how to find and where to find anything we want to change we can now deal out the picture change the number again to a three and make sure to have it with this cursor 30 pixels down one two three and 30 to the left and what you now can also do you can now use for the um, next pages of your carousel you can now be uh, um, get creative you can use graphics to uh, make things um, even more appealing you can use other pictures the same picture with other uh, angles for example um, you could use like this you could move it down or to this side 
or whatever you want to and what you're up to, just simply be creative. Um, for this um, example, I used this cool icon, this cool vector. I've got my graphics and the picture of uh, FreePick which is not sponsored, just um, that you know if you're interested in the pictures and the graphics, but may also always make sure to read the license so you're using the images and vectors only in the way you're allowed to use them. And now for this, simply we are pasting the graphic right here and over again, delete the text and write new text. And like I written here, be creative, use graphics. We're using this again, be creative. And we're now doing the other possibility to have um, a text in, um, in objects, in new objects, be creative, use graphics. So we're clicking again and writing again, fix. Now using our uh, move tool right here and making it bigger. We can now always change the, um, the font, which this, which is a better possibility if you want to change the font, the, um, the, the type of the font, so regular, bold, and so on, if it's possible, or um, change the text, then this is the better way. Otherwise, you can um, already use curves like um, we did before um, to have it um, fixed. And now we can move this a little bit underneath. And again, for this one, Make sure to have it in the middle of our um, of our artboard. We can also use this feature right here and can say align horizontally and click apply. And also with this one, align horizontally and click apply. Now use quick FX again, outer shadow 50, 50, 30. And again for our next text, you also want outer shadow 50, 50, 30 to make it pop even more. We're also going to use this for our graphic. I already did, did this before, so we don't need to do it right here. But if you're using a graphic, make sure to use some outer shadow to make it pop out. And now again, we're using this um, cool style where um, we have this object above our text. So we need to move this text underneath our object in the layers um, part right here. And make sure it's still readable. So we're using shift and the uh, arrow key to the top. So maybe like this. So I think it's readable and looking good. And also with creative, maybe making one down again, um, selecting our text again with command or control hold down and opacity 95% to make it fit. And we can now group everything holding down command to select and command G to group. And then we can use this feature right here, alignment or move with our cursor. If snapping is activated to move in the middle of our artboard. And then we could make this smaller and zoom out. And we see we have our free artboard layers with one, two, three and the three pages. And we are finished with our Instagram carousel template. You can create, like I already said, it's up to you to use your images, your font, your color, your style, graphics, and so on to make it more appealing. And maybe also think about using more than three pages. That's just because that's an example. I would recommend using between five and nine or 10, depending on the maximum amount of Instagram. And yeah, that's gonna do for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye.